Hey guys, I'm Kyoko. Welcome back to Kenshi and welcome back to Ruka the Lone Slave, not a warrior. <laughs> now, last episode I said I'm gonna wait in here and uh, see how far I can make and see if I can just get rid of the slave thing, but some slavers came nearby and they threw me out and made me an obedient slave. I don't know where they actually went now, but Ruka is now an obedient slave following her master. So we're gonna wait and see if she can catch up to her master and then you know then we'll see now the important thing is are these samurai gonna leave us out or are they gonna attack us again like if they attack us again this might be a problem if they let us out then we have a chance of escaping one once we are out in the desert and so far it seems you're good there's our slave traders all right all right, that's that's the slave traders. Slave caravan guard. I think we should be faster than all of them, which is, to be honest, right now it's amazing, uh, because we can just outrun them. We can outrun the slaver. That one can go 20. Okay, we can't really outrun them all. That one can go 19, 19. Okay, so that's that's a couple of them. We definitely do want to get away from the city before this is an issue. So we'll just follow the, the master for a bit, see where we go, how far we get, and, you know, just be obedient. They will probably bring us to one of the camps, maybe stone camp, actually. So we'll see how that works out. But yeah, for now, we're just going to be obedient. I don't like that the hivers are joining. These guys can run faster than the normal boys. Definitely. So there's three hivers. That can definitely outrun us. There's some boys that can run 19. So, yeah, there's like three hivers that can outrun us, but just by a bit. And of course, we do need to unlock the shackles first. These ones are now locked. So I think we're just... Well, we'll have to be obedient for a second, you know? Uh, the, the main thing we can hope for is that this whole group gets attacked by skimmers or something like that. You know, or, you know, if somebody like Beep shows up and knocks people out, that'd be amazing. But unfortunately, there's no, there's no Beeper in this, in this series. I don't like how we're in the middle and this big ass abusive slaver is here. I do not like that. Oh, well. Oh, that's a skimmer. That's a skimmer. Uh, I'm okay with that. Please attack us I'm gonna oh nice dodge I will speed it up because we're gonna be just RP walking across the desert and uh, just wait for you know opportunity over here because these guys are following a road so clearly they're going at least towards the stone camp which is I think here and there's a Shobatai up there that's some cage beast dead that could be food for us we haven't eaten in a while they are on the edge of starvation. So, uh, please tell me you're alive. You're dead. That's unfortunate. That one's dead as well. Oh, I wish these guys were alive. I don't want to right click and loot because that might make me not so obedient as a slave. You know. So, I'm just gonna wait here. I'm just gonna keep on walking. I, I have no real experience of being a slave, you know. I wonder if I were to like attack and provoke one of these things what would happen what would happen if i were to attack and provoke a fight between these guys i mean the bull is just a teen so that w wouldn't do much i guess the the animals are just stuck over here who's out there some vagrants yeah that's okay. Uh, I'm the only one, the only slave these guys got. If they had more slaves, things would have been easier. Some bounty hunters. Hmm. I wonder if if the bounty hunters would fight. Probably not. Probably just be nothing. Uh, out there we got rebel farmers. That could be a distraction. They would be like, "Hey, you guys got food. Let's go fight the slavers." Hmm. So far, no luck. If we get too close... Oh, I wish we would go there. We might go there. Probably not. Yeah, you guys come here. 
You guys come here. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys come here. Oh, Stone Camp is here, not up there. Okay. Oh, please walk past these guys. Please be nice and do that. I don't like that these two are walking here because they would help and they would definitely kill those false scorpions. While these guys would probably not be able to. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like these guys over here. Who's running over here? Oh, just running through? <laughs> He's attacking enemies. He's very fast. Nice one. Nice one, buddy. Okay, let's speed up. Let's see where we go. I mean... What are you doing with your arms? <laughs> Are they both broken? They're both broken. Amazing. Alright, keep on keep on walking. Yes. They go in for that guy. They're definitely going for that guy. Just one of them. How did that guy fall down? Was it Can I click on them? I'd like to click on him. Oh, he just he just went into critical state. He was uh, his stomach was too low. Okay. Ruka, Ruka. Uh, unlock shackles. Oh, you guys, don't worry about that. Okay. Playing dead, let's go. Uh, playing dead is amazing. Uh, I will stop playing dead. If I can, because that should fix her toughness. Look at that, plus three on toughness. Oh, that was worth it. She's definitely seen. But they're, for some reason, just leaving her. Ruka, just, you know, stay here. Keep unlocking your shackles. Why not? That was successful. Beautiful. You got your sword. You don't need that. Uh, we got sand. Oh, that's even better. Sandals. Yes, please. Oh, that's better because that's gonna increase our speed. See, this has an extra athletics effect. It's gonna make us run faster. Ruka has kinda done it. She has kinda done it. I know she's an escaped slave. She has been seen. But she's out there in the desert right now. And she needs food. Hell yeah, she needs food. Okay, what we're gonna do... She's gonna run back. She can run 21 miles per hour, which is amazing right now. We're gonna go find those fallen scorpions that were back here somewhere on the road. Uh, those dead ones, you know? False fallen scorpions. That that was my, my thing that I wanted to say. I think they're back here. Hell yeah. Please tell me these guys got some meat on them. If not, we have that cage beast. Yeah, cage beast is gonna have meat. Perfect. Perfect. We don't even need that much. We're gonna get over encumbered if we take... Ah, oh, come on. Loot. Alright. Ruka, we are now on the road. Which is a bit of a problem. Let's go further into the wilderness. So nobody shows up. Because the road is gonna be, you know, traveled upon. We still can run 18 miles per hour even though we are over encumbered. So I do appreciate that. Yeah, let's go like over here somewhere. Let's hide behind this rock. Perfect. That was good. That was good. Ruka, it's time we go camping. Drop, drop down a campfire. And start working. No, 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 no. What, who told you to forge animals? Just come over here. And you gotta be a medic as well. Yeah, it's cooking. Uh, you will keep on being stealthy if by any chance anybody comes nearby. But after so long, she is finally free. And she's got some meat to eat. Uh, this thing I think we've got just to sell. Even though that's not really worth much. We do need to get new first aid kit. Uh, I think our best bet right now is going south. And going over here. Over here and... Uh, going to one of those areas. There's a way station there, and way stations are not controlled by the United Cities, whose slave we are. So I think that would be the best uh, bet for us right now. Of course, we do have some chest issues, which is not that great, but oh well. 
Oh, look at all that meat we're gonna have. Beautiful. Fortunately, we're not gonna take all the meat with us. Yeah, because it's gonna over-encumber us and we don't really want that. No, no, no. It's time to go south. We cooked all of our meat. And I think it's we're ready to go. I'm gonna drop... I'm gonna drop this. We don't really need that mace. I'm gonna drop that. There you go. We have 21 miles per hour right now. That's pretty damn goddamn solid. Uh, and I'm happy with that. So we're just gonna go south. If we see anything that we could maybe fight, we will. Otherwise, we'll mostly avoid stuff, I think. Because being a slave... We've been a slave for a long time now. Bruka does not appreciate being a slave. I'll have you know. Also, some of you guys have said, I should have mentioned that before, that maybe just going full heavy armor is not really the way I should go, because the Shag don't really wear full heavy armor. They have, like, medium armor. I think their pants are heavy armor, and then uh, their chest, usually they have a shirt that is one of those chain shirts, or just a, just a normal shirt, a leather shirt, and then they have, like, medium armor across that. You know, so we might go with something like that. We'll see how it works. But for now, just being able to run out there in the wild. Oh, it's so beautiful. Feels so good that we can just be out here and not being chased by something. That's a vagrant. Okay, Ruka. I think this could be a good idea, a good attempt to just try mano a mano, you know, going 1v1. We're not gonna try assassination. We did say no assassination. So, you know, saying like, attack Hanko. And just wait for Hanko to come here. Let's, let's just have Hanko come to us. We have 21 attack, Hanko's got minus 7. I think you got this, Ruka. It's been a while since we seen you fight, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's keep it happening. Oh, what a chop! What a chop once again. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, that was a miss. Nice, nice. Oh, her dodge is a 29 right now. I didn't even notice that in her. Yeah, we really need to get her toughness even higher. And just to get her damage resistance into the positive. So basically it needs to be over 50, which is crazy hard to be honest. But maybe as a solo person, it's not going to be that hard. Very nice, Ruka. Good job. They probably don't have anything useful, so we'll just let them, just let them be, and keep on attacking more of them. Just don't come too close to the whole group because you don't want to fight them all. I still have the mod that uh, is definitely not going to be good for us. I don't see where he is, Jesus. Uh, the mod that's not going to be good for us, where uh, two people can attack at the same time versus one person. I don't know where he is. He probably went back. The the dust storm is just so severe. Yeah. Okay, let's just be careful. Nice hit. 35, that's pretty good. 36. Chomp him up. Chomp him up, Ruka. Nice kick. That The other one was a miss. Nice, nice. Good job. Good blocks there. Very good, Ruka. Very good. You just need to get her attack higher up, you need to get her defense higher up, all the stuff, you know? Well, good blocks, right there. Oh, she's going for more. She's like, no, no, no. Ruka, you can't, you can't go for more when there's more of them. Uh, we definitely can't afford too many hits, because we don't have a healing item, so we definitely have to go buy a healing item before anything else. This guy's got a blunt weapon, or this lady, I should say. Nice. Good job. That was a nice hit right there. She's got some blocking moves. But you got her, Ruka. You got her. How's your hackers? 16? We need to get it to 20. I think that's when you get a new skill. So, Okay, Ruka got hit there. But that shouldn't be a problem because this is a blunt weapon. So there's not going to be any bleeding damage. There is, you know, a bit of damage. But not as much. Very nice. Yeah, heal yourself. Have a look into that thing. Still have enough for a fight, I think. Oh, of course, this is a spite club, so there is some bleeding damage. Alright, let's pull this guy that we wanted to pull before. Hello, sir. Be pulled. Hell yeah. 
Hell yeah. Do we have a hat? We do have a hat. We actually have a solid hat. I like it. Some good protection right there. Good blocks. Good blocks, Ruka. Just don't get hit in the leg because that's gonna affect your running speed and we can't really afford that. I know we're just fighting vagrants and, you know, it's probably not the best idea, but... She just ate a... Wow, this guy's got a horse chopper in him. Interesting. This is shoddy grade. We have... Oh, this thing's got no armor. We should take this. But I'm not taking this. Because of the goddamn athletics effect. Would it over encumber us by a lot if you take it? A bit, yes. Uh, we do kind of need it though. Let's go find another fight another person. Because, well, we need it because I said that we're gonna be using a uh, higher tier armor. Uh, so if I don't do that, you know. I am, uh, yeah. I mean, even, I, I understand I'm handicapping myself if I make myself run slower. But it's just, you know, the thing that we want to do. She's, she's a proper hacker right now, though. Hacker's going up to 17, good stuff. She's using her feet mostly, really. Oh, this guy is doing the same. Right now, they kind of have the same skills, really. Oh, nice one. These guys are all gonna have shoddy grade, right? Yeah. She just looks very cool because she's like fully in black armor right now. It's just extremely cool, I think. Black armor and then that hacker. Hell yeah. Okay, this guy has no armor whatsoever. Or, well, they got like 1% protection, I think, for their chest. So, it's amazing. Vagrants are not gonna like us, but it's our best way to level up right now our attack and such that's just the way it is well, she attempted a cool move there but it didn't really work out well we were probably leveling up more when we were fighting uh, the other boys uh, what were they uh, I don't remember the heroes yeah the United Heroes League that's the ones that we were fighting what skill is this thing uh, it's uh, mid-grade salvage amazing Okay, Ruka, pull more. Pull more. I mean, if she can take care of this whole group, I'll be very content. Oh, this guy doesn't even have a weapon, or this lady. That's gonna be... That's not gonna be good for you. Ruka's just gonna chop you up. And by the time these guys are chopped up, the, the other ones are gonna start waking up and coming over here. Oh, boy. A tale of Ruka. Goddamn badass warrior. Oh, let's let's get him. Let's get him. Perfect. Alright, let's go get more. Hackers 17. Mid attack 19. That's really good. You're kinda close to the whole group. Very nice chop. This guy doesn't have a weapon either. And no real armor. She's doing with each swing she's doing more damage. I like it. Uh I don't like this guy. Tip, tip. Uh, but Ruka, I believe in you. That you can fight both of these. Good job. Yeah. Okay, she got hit now. But I believe in her. Might not be the best idea to do this. Because she's she doesn't have the healing needed. For this. And they are definitely chomping on her. You can get this guy out. Come on. <laughs> or the other one is just gonna fall down because he's going critical. Oh, that's that's okay. That worked out. I did say they're gonna start waking up, didn't I? So that definitely happened. Ruka, an escaped slave. She's gonna be escaped slave for a bit, and then she's gonna be an ex-slave for a lot longer. How is your healing? Almost non-existent. Fine. Let's uh, pull some more. There's three more. We kind of have to do this, right? Okay, they're all coming now. Well, we don't have to do this. Uh, Alright, looks like the last three are connected. That's fine. Uh, I think at this point, I know this is gonna hurt us. Oh, this is hurting us so much. I hate it. Uh, go down here. All the way down here, Ruka. Yes, indeed. That's where we're running. Uh, drop the meat. 19 is what we get. Who is this guy out here? 
Oh, it's an escaped slave. Good. All right, Ruka, time to go. We're gonna abuse one of the mods that I have right now. Sorry. We're gonna tell the farm goats to follow us. Then we're gonna talk to the farm goat and we're gonna receive goat milk. Which is a bunch of these. And this thing is gonna give us a lot of money. Yes. I did abuse one of the mods that we had, but you know what? I, we have mods for that reason, to use them. Kinda. Uh, it slowed us down, that's for sure. We can't eat this. It slowed us down, we're gonna, not gonna drop it away. Sure, we have these goats follow us, but that's about it. Uh, we are, yeah, we're kind of slow right now. Unfortunately so, um, we do get 1% strength XP because of this, so that's fine. Uh, it's gonna be, like, we are in the last stretch down here, but there could be some tough enemies down here that we will not be able to dodge if we are over encumbered. I did uh, dodge some sand ninjas so far, some men hunters, but nobody spotted me because, you know, desert is quite big and you can, it's quite open as well, and you can see them from further out there. So, you know, that, that's what happened. We could see them, so we could dodge them, and that's the important part. Uh, these, these goats are just gonna follow us from a distance. Maybe somebody else is gonna attack them. Maybe you can butcher them, get their meat. I don't think we are gonna try affording that right now, but that's, that's okay. Uh, at some point we need to buy a thieves backpack. Just because that thing doesn't have any penalties for combat. And it's gonna allow us to wear some stuff. Uh, there's a way station 4. It's a number 4 now? Hmm, that must be one of the mods I'm using. Probably the mod that lets you uh, overtake cities. And that's why uh, it now has numbers, maybe. Ah, oh, these guys are buying a lot. Hey, just keep some money because we're gonna... We're gonna be selling a lot of milk over here, you know? Who are you guys? Tech hunters. Okay, tech hunters are fine. Hello, friends. I might be an ex-slave, but surely the tech hunters will not mind that, right? Surely. And these guys will also have some healing stuff. Oh, hello, friends. Yeah, they got money. And we made 3k. Hell yeah. Alright. Show me. Uh, you have a standard first aid kit. I would like to have a better one. You know? I would like to have a better one. Like having a splint kit would be amazing as well, I think. Just because. Also, at some point, we should try losing some limbs. <laughs> Even though as a shag, that's a bit tougher to do. Uh, let's talk to you. You don't have any better healing kits. It's unfortunate. Goats, please chill. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna buy this bad boy. Because that's the only thing we, we can buy. Right now, we're gonna save the rest of the money, I think. Yeah, I think that's fine. I mean, we could talk to some of the people, but... Uh, I really don't wanna... Uh, get more people in my squad. We can talk to the plastic surgeon. And we can do a facelift. Because, you know, that's gonna help us with the X-Slave. No, that's just for people that they can restore our hair. We don't have hair anyway, so... What's the point, really, right? What's that point really? Okay, let's go up here. Do we need healing? We need a bit of healing. I don't think it's worth sleeping right now just for that small amount of healing before we go onwards. And where are we gonna go onwards? I think we're gonna go like this is uh this is a tough decision, you know? Ruka, sit down a bit. Sit down a bit. Look at this naked lady over here. Yeah. Look at this naked lady and be happy that you're not like that. Okay? Okay. What's your run speed now? 19? Okay, you're an ex-slave, so you do have to avoid places where slaves could be a thing. So, uh, you know, we could go to the swamp. That would be safe, kinda, from slavers. Kinda. Uh, but I don't think I want that. I think we're gonna go south, maybe. We might go down here and become a slave again. <laughs> Just to a different kind of slavers this time around. We'll see, I, I've not decided yet. Anyway, for now, thank you buddy for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this episode of 
Ruka, the lone warrior. We managed to escape, we fought a bit and raised our skills, so that's amazing. But yeah, for now, thank you everybody for watching. New episode every other day, 6 p.m. Century here in summertime, and I hope I will see you there. Kick around. Thank you.